Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the altcoin GMT and what is the future prediction for it. First of all, I just want to say thank you so much for the incredible support on the video which I posted yesterday. You guys are all lovely. Now, there is just so much profit to be made with this GMT token. I mean, there was a small pullback in the past four hours, but it's still sitting much higher than the previous higher high. And this lower low is setting some new standards as the next higher high is going to be explosive. But before we get more into it, if you're here for the first time, you do want to stay up to date with everything to do with the GMT token. I highly recommend you scroll down and smash the red subscribe button right there. Also go ahead and slap a like on the video. It is completely free to do so, but at the same time, it helped me and you as the YouTube algorithm will push the video to more people. More people see the incredible side of GMT token. They decide to buy into it. It starts spiking up. All of us make a lot of profit. So the best you can do is go down and slap a like on it. Other than that, let's get straight into it. So to begin with today's video, first of all, I want to show you guys the one hour chart and then I want to talk to you guys about some news and then the four hour chart. Okay, so after I made the yesterday's video and I mentioned in the video saying, hey, there is a chance that there might be a small pullback due to the fact that it was just climbing on and on and at the same time there would be a lot of retail investors willing to take profit due to the fact that on the RSI line we were on an overbought zone quite heavily and you can see in the past four hours it has a small pullback when the whole market started recovering including Bitcoin, Ethereum, you name it everything's in the green. Now keep in mind this is still in a very good position due to the fact that this lower low that's formed on the zigzag line is still higher than the previous higher high. That is a very good sign suggesting that we're still in a very extreme bull run rather than it being just a bull movement. Now you can see that there is a strong resistance that GMT token will play off, which is somewhere near the 46 cent mark, which is $2.46. If it does decide to rebound from there, then the next higher high is obviously going to be much higher than the previous one. And suggesting from the lengths that we have been setting from the previous times, we can, we can make a small prediction that the next one is going to be quite a bit higher than a lot of people have anticipated. Now the next one is most likely going to be near the $3.87 mark and the one after that is going to be a little bit higher closer to the $4.80 mark. Now these are the two next higher highs that is being predicted and at the same time it's been predicted from the movement that we have been receiving. Personally, I see it happening for sure and also if it does decide to pull back a little bit extra, obviously we just need to make sure that it just stays above the previous higher high. If it stays above this point, which a lot of people know is a very, very strong support close to $2.33, then we will be completely fine and GMT token will not be slowing down. Personally, in the future, I know a lot of you guys asked in the previous video question, Sky, what do you think the future token price is going to be. I personally think that the way the market is moving for Stepin and seeing the market cap, I see it stabilizing somewhere near $8 or $9 and seeing the circulating supply is only 10%. I mean, that could have a huge impact, but at the same time, there is a max supply. It is not unlimited. So that is a good, I personally like tokens which have a max supply rather than being able to make as much as possible. That's why I started hating the dollar because the government can print as much as they possibly want. Now on the trading volume, you can see it is down by 10%, but still it is massive. It's close to 4 billion, which in the volume to market cap ratio, that is close to 2.5. That is insanity. There is still a lot of room for it to grow, even though this this three hours or four hours have been hectic for the GMT token. It is still up 5% for the day. Now, one announcement that they have made, which is really, really good, is announcement. Step in first quarterly GMT burn back or buy back and burn. So what they're going to be doing is they're going to be buying the token and then they will be burning the token. Now, this is really good due to the fact that the overall there is only this many tokens that can be ever released and seeing that the company themselves are going to be doing quarterly burn back or buy back and burn, that's just insane. Like I personally think that's really good. Stepfin has generated a profit of 26 million 
from our NFT marketplace trading and royalty fees in the quarter one. In order to create more value for Step and Ecosystem, we will be using the profit to buy back and burn GMT on chain from secondary market. They have not announced exactly how much they're going to be burning, but it is going to be quite hectic seeing the fact that that they have made 26 million and personally the way they have worded everything i feel like all the profit is going to be going towards this and if they use all of the 26 million to actually buy back and burn that is going to have a very very positive impact on the price of the token and you guys can see as we are recording this video it is already having a small recovery now this is the one hour chart if we decide to look at the four hour chart it will give you a more clearer idea in terms of what is happening now this chart looks amazing like there's just no way to describe how well this chart looks because if you look from here when the chart started exploding right here you can see ever since on the zigzag line we have not had a pullback yes obviously the past four hours there was a small pullback but on the zigzag line it does not seem like that due to the fact that it will start recovering very soon as it is happening right now and as i mentioned on the one hour chart we are able to see what will happen in the near future on the four hour chart it is very hard to predict and even on the fibonacci it's just way too hard to predict what is going to happen when we look at the four hour chart and if you decide to look at the one day chart you will be even more confused due to the fact there is just no way to defy what is going to happen in the near future i mean it just looks like it's going to keep exploding and most likely not have a slowing movement but obviously that is not possible now talking about this which was actually posted by stefan stefan is going to release two new sneaker types to further expand our product reach now they're going to be doing a lot of new things out and i personally think that it is a really really good thing like they are releasing new products they're super active on their twitter page when it comes to how many tweets they're doing per day they're retweeting stuff that is positive towards them the more active any Twitter pages, I personally feel like because Twitter is the place where everyone looks at when it comes to cryptocurrency, the more active their blockchain and also their special Twitter account for the token is it actually has a very positive impact on the price of the token. Now, this was actually posted by Crypto Griefing and personally, I'm really happy to see that there is also big companies talking about this token. GMT governance token has soared in value over the past week, climbing 138%. The app lets users earn token by walking, jogging, or running outdoors, similar to X's Infinity play to earn model. Widespread speculation of a membership with a major sports brand has fueled the recent GMT token rally. I mean, yes, they might be actually partnering up with Nike in the near future. If that does happen, that will have a very positive impact on the price. And I know a lot of you guys who are watching this video are very very excited to see what will happen with this token i mean it's in the beta once it is released and more people decide to download it and decide to use it it will be very good personally i'm really excited to see what will happen let me know down in the comment section what you guys are willing to see and what you really want to see with this token happen because me personally i really want this token to go to the 10 dollar mark just to prove to the whole industry that crypto is here to stay and even new projects which have good future can grow very quickly but other than that thank you so much for watching the video till the end hope you guys did enjoy if you did drop a like on it subscribe if you're new to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one i'm out Peace.